I was captivated by the visualness of the Black Panther Party. I was captivated by the rationality of the Black Panther Party. And I was captivated by the sense of service of the Black Panther Party. For me, the Black Panther Party was a way to legitimately express my anger. Eventually acquitted of all charges and pregnant with Tupac, Afeni was released from jail after spending 15 months on and off behind bars. And on June 16, 1971, she gave birth to Tupac Amaru Shakur, who she named after a South American Incan revolutionary, the name meaning Shining Serpent. So Shining Serpent is a brilliant spirit. I actually believed in 1971 that giving a child a name empowers him. But what did not help empower young Tupac was the absence of his father, also a Black Panther who was rarely around. What he didn't have was that masculine figure in his life for a sustained period of time that would, you know, you could go play ball with. Adding to that instability was crippling poverty, at times rendering Tupac and his mother homeless. But in 1986, despite those hardships, Afeni moved to Baltimore and managed to enroll her son in a unique public high school, the Baltimore School for the Arts. That was a really good experience for Tupac because the other students at the school were all artists and the environment for artists is different. It's a lot freer, it's a lot less restricted. In particular, he fell in love with acting and with rap music. I think Tupac always believed he could have it all. Digital Underground. He saw Pac had no home to go back to and you know he, he gave him an opportunity it was just the break tupac had been waiting for suddenly the teenager was circling the planet on a world tour tupac had a lot of fun running around with digital underground they were calling from japan and they were calling from london and they were calling from italy and they were calling from australia a natural showman Tupac graduated from just dancing to stepping up behind the mic. The move was an immediate success. Pac was a master at, he can take your style and do it a little bit different or a little bit better than you. He would, he would go, uh, listen, listen to what I said. Oh my God, the boy is nice. And this is how he would say it. He'd be like, oh my God, the boy is nice. Yo, Jamala, listen to this. This is how I kick it. And he would recite a little, verse out that song and he'll go oh i'm so nice i'm so nice i'm killing them i'm killing them i'll be like Pac, he is crazy <laughs> since he was a kid tupac had also fantasized about becoming an actor and in 1991 he made his second dream come true he starred in the critically acclaimed film juice juice came out when I went to go see it, the girls were screaming. That was fly. That was some to see. From the moment Juice came out, everybody was talking about Pop. It was just obvious that, you know, he was on the verge of something really major. That role helped him more than the music did. 